Well, in my previous exhibitions, the last four or five exhibitions, have all been about uh, the effects of war, not the war itself, the effects of war on family, on uh, especially the mother and uh, uh, and how, how she can keep going on in her life and uh, support her family. Usually the husband or her son is, is getting killed in the war. So the last few exhibitions have been on this, this uh, subject. But the very last exhibition, I... Uh, I decided to run away from that uh, theme because it was just too much, too much uh, sadness. And usually, usually when I start in, uh, working for an exhibit, I don't really think about the theme. I just work, and uh, and then the work itself tells me what I'm thinking, and that's then when I get my theme. So it takes a bit of time to to reach that stage of what am I saying really. So this past exhibition was about my uh, memories of a place that no longer exists except in my mind. Okay. Um, so I, I, I wanted to paint something that makes me feel happy. And uh, this is what this last, last exhibition was about. Okay. And you've used migrating birds as a symbol of hope and freedom. What drew you to these motifs? Migrating birds, I feel like the bird is me. My life has all been about migrating. Um, always leaving, and I've traveled to so many places in the world, went as far as California, uh, Washington, California, Europe, and in the end, uh, I came back. Um, now, a few years ago, I was hoping to go back uh, to Iraq, and I tried, and I rebuilt my family home there and was ready to go back home. So I guess the bird came back, but... Unfortunately, what happened and the effect of war uh, didn't, uh, didn't help me. I couldn't uh, live in Iraq. And everybody I know, my family, my relatives, all, all emigrated. So the birds flew. Uh, so I guess this is the bird is for me, is us. Our lives these days is like a bird. Can you tell us about how you bring your memories of Baghdad as a mirage into your work? as a means of escapism? Well, I a little bit answered that in the earlier question. But um, as I said, uh, I wanted to do something that made me feel happy. Whereas before, it was the events. Uh, let me go back a little bit. When I first came to Beirut 2006, after having uh, migrated to many, many different places, um, the street overwhelmed me, the streets of uh, Beirut. Um, the people, the life, the colors, it was uh, very, very uh, lively. Whereas in European cities, American cities, everything's very organized. Here it's chaotic. So that was overwhelming uh, for me. It took about a year for me to uh, process everything that I saw. Whereas those paintings that I did at that time, I paint my whole life. In, I mean, it's like a biography. <laughs> Uh, I painted the street sellers, the corn sellers, the, the ordinary people in the street. Once I got that out of my system, it, I, I, I started to look more deeply into what's going on in, uh, in, in the unrest and the wars that are happening. That's when I started painting all the, the mothers. Uh, I did a whole series of uh, the Pieta of Michelangelo based on the Pieta which I likened her to the uh, Arab mother. And it's not natural for the mother to hold a grown, her grown son in her lap and, and uh, you know, uh, dead. So it's very, it's very sad. I, yes. I know, and this sadness was overwhelming. Back to the escapism of uh, Baghdad. Yeah, it gets so heavy. You know, how much can an artist, uh, suffering can an artist uh, process? So, uh, I, I, even though uh, this past exhibition, I tried to, uh, the distant city, I always go back to the same theme, the distant city, the person far away from the city, and um, uh, the palm tree, which to me is, uh, represents roots. Sure, we've all, I've been uh, out of my country for a long time and moved to many different places, but that palm tree is still there. Those palm trees represent the strength of uh, nature, 
of women. That's how I see it, because it's fragile. You see it, it looks so fragile, it's so tall and thin, but it's, it withstands, withstands storms, wars, it's still standing there. And our women are like that, I, I feel. They have to keep going.